In the previous video, we learnt about classification algorithms. Today, we have an interesting video for you. Let's start. In this video lecture, we will learn about some technical indicators which we will be using in the upcoming video lectures. Relative Strength Index The first indicator we will discuss is Relative Strength Index, or RSI in short. It measures the strength of a stock. It is considered as a momentum oscillator which measures the speed and change of price movements. RSI is measured in a range of 0 to 100. Typically, a time frame of 14 days is used to measure the indicator. RSI can be calculated by using the simple formula. RSI equals to 100 minus 100 divided by 1 plus RS. Where, RS stands for relative strength, which is calculated as RS equals to average gain of up periods during the specified time frame. Divided by average loss of down periods during the specified time frame. Traditionally, the RSI above 70 is considered to be overbought, while RSI below 30 indicates that the stock is oversold. Consider this graph of RSI of a stock, where the red line shows the RSI value of 70, and green line shows the RSI value of 30. Whenever, the RSI graph touches or crosses the red line, it signals that the stock is overbought, and the price trend will reverse, hence sell the stock. Similarly, if the RSI graph touches or crosses the green line, it indicates that the stock is oversold and the price trend is about to reverse. Hence buy the stock. Simple Moving Average A simple moving average, SMA, is a moving average, calculated by adding the average price of a security over a specific period of time. Most moving averages are based on closing price. For example, a 7-day simple moving average can be calculated, by adding the last 7 days closing prices, and dividing them by 7. Followed by, dropping the first data point, and adding the new data point to calculate the SMA and so on. Simple moving average is used to identify the direction of a trend, and is better for reading past price movements. They also help to define support and resistance levels, when analyzing the prices of a stock. Correlation coefficient. This indicator tells how closely two securities are related to each other. A positive correlation indicates that the two securities under observation move in the same direction, up or down. And if two securities move in opposite directions, then they will have a negative correlation. Correlation ranges between plus 1 to minus 1. And as the correlation moves towards the extremes of plus 1 or minus 1, the relationship between the two securities becomes stronger, while a correlation of 0 means that there is no relationship between the two securities. While analyzing a security, Correlation can also be used to identify a relationship between an indicator and a security. Correlation can be calculated by dividing the covariance between two securities by the product of the standard deviations of the two securities. In the next video, we will learn parabolic SAR and average directional index indicator. If you found this content helpful, do share it with your peers, and subscribe to our channel to receive more such content.